Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I want to do a quick review of this helicopter. It is the Cheerwing SEMA S107G. Now Cheerwing is a distributor, but SEMA is the manufacturer, which many of you guys will be familiar with that name brand. Now, this is very similar to the helicopter I did back at Christmas time. So this is a metal series and it's a little bit better than the one that I did a while back. Let me grab the one that I did a while back and that is this one here. This one I did at Christmas time. I bought, bought at my local farm supply store. And uh, this one, is, as you can see, is all plastic. So that's the one that I reviewed. But it's the same kind of indoor flyer, three channel one. And here is the one that comes inside this box. So this is this blue one here. As you guys can see, it's all metal. This one's geared a little differently than brushed motors on top. The other drone, uh, excuse me, <laughs> so used to drones. The other helicopter doesn't have the motor and the gearing the same position as this one. This one seems to be a little bit more powerful, flies around a little bit better than the other one. Again, this one's metal, comes packaged pretty nicely in this box. Packaged nicer than the other one, the plastic one that I bought at the local supply store. All you get with this drone is instruction manual and this little charger. The charger plugs in on the side here. And then you've got your on and off switch here on the other side. This will not do anything until it's finished charging. Then a red light will come on. It will take around 40 to 50 minutes, basically three fourths of an hour. We'll charge this guy back up and you're ready to go again. It's got the balance bar on top, gyro stabilized. It's pretty easy to fly, but just like the other one, it's rather docile. There's not a lot of pitch. It's not going to be very quick. And most importantly, this is an indoor flyer. Now I'm out in my garage because with everybody being cooped up at home under this quarantine, I can't really do it inside. There's too much noise. But you're fine flying it in here. I do have to be careful of the sunlight coming into the garage. That's a real problem with these indoor flying helicopters. They have an infrared uh, controller, so using light. And the problem with that is sunlight will interfere and it can cause the helicopter to you know, lose responsiveness or fly off or do something funny because it's getting a false signal from the light. It was just confusing the infrared sensor sitting here on the back of this little helicopter. So keep that in mind. So it's just a three channel. You've got your throttle to go up and down. You've got pitch to go forward and back and there's not a lot of pitch again. And then your right and left on the right stick is your yaw which will spin the helicopter. It lets you uh, change the directions and fly in a different direction. The on and off switch and this is an actual or left and right yaw trim in case the helicopter would be wanting to spin on its axis a little bit you can trim that out which i had to do whenever i first turned it on so that's it that's all there is with this guy so let's fly it around let you guys see it does have a little alternating flashing i think it was red blue uh, light in the front whereas this other one that i was talking about I reviewed back at christmas just has a white light on the front again this blue one is better than this cheap or plastic one that I bought at my local store. So let's go ahead and we'll turn it on and we'll take it around and fly. It had a, I don't know the exact flight time. I've flown this a couple times, but it seemed like it flew for at least 10 minutes. They're pretty good flight time on these. And then go ahead and turn the controller on and we'll set it out here and take it up and fly it around for you guys. So set it on the floor here. And there we go. I just give it a little throttle and I already wanted to take off. Just want to make sure that it was picking up the signal. So I'll back it up here and fly it around. This makes a really nice um, just escapism, as you could say, from being quarantined. Since this is perfect for indoors, you can fly it in your house. You're not going to hurt anything. You're not going to hurt anybody. But to be careful, the props could smack kind of hard. So make sure that you don't fly it near anybody's face. If you want to hit someone's eye with those propellers, that certainly could do eye damage. There you go. Oop, I get it too much throttle. There we go. Since there's no altitude hold on something like this, it's very easy to give it a little bit too much throttle, like I did there and bang into the ceiling. I got it about half throttle. It's easy to fly, especially once you get used to it. I'm used to having four channel where you've got like a roll and a drone, the roll. This you just got pitch, y'all, and throttle. So it is rotate, as you guys could probably see here, let me give it some, obviously by instincts it's wanting to give roll input there and you can't. 
but it looks to me like there is a bit of yaw. Let me land it here. It, was, it looks to me like it was rotating a little to the left. So I'm going to give it a little bit of yaw trim to the right. Just kind of hand launch. You can easily just set these on your fingers here. Give it some throttle and then just take off. Looks like it's turned to the left a little bit. So I'm going to give it a little bit more. Now there is some wind coming in my garage. Now I'm gonna, it's very windy today, especially earlier today. And very cold for April, only in the 40s. But again, you can't fly this outside anyway. But that sunlight coming in could cause it an interference of that sensor. So that's why I'm kind of trying to keep it out here in the shade. And we'll, we'll take it in the sun. I don't think it's going to be a big deal. There's that bl uh, blue and red blinking light I was talking about. So that's full pitch forward, you guys can see. Very little, I'm guessing between, oh, I don't know, 10, 15, maybe 15 degrees, 20 at most pitch. There's not much there. Again, another reason why it would only be good indoors because if you're gonna fly it outdoors and you did it on a cloudy day without a lot of sunlight, you could probably do it. But it has to be absolutely no wind or it's not gonna be able to fight that. It's just gonna get blown away. But your bigger problem is gonna be the light interference outside causing the helicopter to do erratic things. It may actually act like you're giving it input controls and you're not. So it's very quiet, and again, it's very easy to fly, very easy to do funnels. It will take a little practice to get your throttle positioning correctly so that you don't end up slamming into your ceiling, but once you get that down, which is about half throttle, it will hover pretty nicely like that. See? That's very stable. Another thing I forgot to mention, I wanted to mention this because the other one doesn't have this. It's quite important, actually is the controller, and I didn't, like I said, I didn't mention this a while ago, has a spot here under the hand grip to pull out a charger, and you can charge this off the controller. So you don't have to be anywhere where you have a USB outlet to charge with that provided charger. You can charge with this internal little charger here, and that lets you charge up the helicopter. So if you're out in the field somewhere, I'll give it some throttle. If you're out in the field somewhere and you're flying this, well, should say not in a field because it's not outdoors. If you had a friend's house, let's say, and you didn't bring the charger with you, you can just charge with the controller. And it does take six double A's, and that is a reason why, so it provides enough power to charge a little 1S LiPo inside of this. So that's why it takes six. The other uh, helicopter only takes four because it does not have that built-in charger. So if you had a friend's house, someplace flying this, a parent, something or like that, you buy it for a kid and they go to grandma and grandpa's house, they can charge it off the controller. They don't need to bring the yellow cable because let's face it, grandma and grandpa may not have anything USB. So it gives you a nice alternate, uh, alternative way to charge this off the controller, which is pretty darn cool. That way if you misplace the charging cable or you forget it at home, you're still gonna be able to fly it. A very stable flyer. But that's all you can really much do. You're just flying it around in circles, but it gives you some entertainment when you're stuck indoors on during this quarantine or during uh, rainy weather, snowy, whatever. You can't go outside. You can fly this in your house. And it is fun. My youngest daughter absolutely loves chasing it around and putting it down and telling me to fly it more. My eight-year-old tried flying the other one earlier, the plastic one, and she did okay. She enjoys the remote control stuff. I like that this one's metal again because it's not going to have near the chances of breaking. Where the plastic one you could easily break. These are really relatively inexpensive. This one was sent to me by Shearwing and they sell this on Amazon. So I don't know offhand the price. I've not checked the link, um, but it shouldn't be too bad. That plastic one cost me $10. That's because the local farm supply store gets these, a bunch of SEMA stuff on deals. And this one's gonna be more because it's metal. So again, I don't know the price on this, but I'll include a purchase link to Amazon.
you guys are interested in checking out this helicopter and of course you can still get it really quickly from Amazon in a couple of days so that should be pretty much to show you guys everything it's going to get rather re repetitious here flying this in circles but again get all this together it's ready to fly it should be relatively inexpensive and again make sure you remember this does have a built-in charger on the back in case you mentioned that missed that during the flight i didn't mention at the beginning you have a built-in charger you can charge up this little helicopter so if you're at grandparents or you're in the you know you're going somewhere and you forgot to bring a charger you've got it included with the controller at all times but be mindful it does take six double a batteries all right that wraps up the review guys of this little helicopter the s 107 g i think it's pretty darn cool it's fun especially for someone who may be just getting into flying helicopters or drones this is a great uh learner though your yaw is on the right side and it's it's a little different than your mode two you'd see with drones so you're not gonna be a perfect trainer but at least give you an idea especially for throttle maintenance because throttle position is very important you know a lot of drones now are going to altitude hold it still is very important and this will let you get a really good idea on doing that you now every helicopter and drone is different but it's really good for that all right guys i rest of the review be sure to subscribe to the channel click the bell all that good stuff i always appreciate it if you have any questions about this ask in the comments uh, and be sure to check out the purchase link below if you're interested in checking this out on amazon and as always guys have a wonderful day the power of the dark side, side, side.